morning everyone. This morning we're going to learn how to quickly just take an SVG image and we're going to put a, uh, some text in it and we're going to slice that text out of it. And it's going to be super fast, easy tutorial. So I'm just going to import um, a, a picture of, uh, let's see. Okay, so I've chosen an image uh, of that moose and I'm just going to import him into my Inkscape. So there he is, nice big moose, very nice looking man, look at him, nice beast. So now we're just going to go to our text um, and we're just going to type some text. Let's call him Bull. And is it the font that I like? doesn't really matter. I'm just going to hold my control key down while I'm sizing it so I don't lose uh, proportion. And yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to, um, now I have to, because this is text, we need to, to convert it um, into a path. So we're going to go up to path. We're going to, while the text is clicked, we're going to go up to path and we're going to choose object to path. Okay. So what this does now is instead of it being text, it becomes each letter will become uh, separate nodes. It'll be its own entity, so to speak. What we want to do though, is we want to make the whole word its own entity. So we're going to select it all. I've highlighted it with my um, mouse. You can single click each letter and attach it that way as well, but um, just easier to surround it with your mouse and do it that way. Then we're gonna go back up to path and we're gonna click union. And that's now, if I double click, now it's the whole word is just its own entity. So that's what we're looking for. So I don't want to do this in black because I'm not going to be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to change the color, make it white. And then holding my control, which I forgot to do because, hey, it doesn't matter about proportions in this thing right now. It is what it is. So there it is. Anyways, whatever font you choose, whatever word you choose, um, just proportion it to the size that you want it inside your shape, which means you may be holding your control key down while you're um, moving it, or you may choose not to. You may choose to, you know, do whatever, um, just pulling the by pulling the arrows. Okay. If you hold your sh your control key down while you're pulling that side arrow, it does keep everything in proportion. Okay. So now that you've got the, the word set where you want it, you're going to keep that clicked and you're going to hold your shift key down and click the image as well. And now they're both clicked. So, see, the, there's a box around both of them. So now we go back up to path and we select difference. So what that's done is it's sliced the word bull out of this. So now it's all one. So if we move it over to the side here, you're going to you're going to be able to see through. Let me see if I can bring this up for you. Okay, hold on one second. See how you, I'm going to move this over for you. So if I move it across this page here, you can see that line in the background of the page. You know it's transparent now because that's what it's done. Um, so you'll be good, you'll get, you're good to go. And um, that's it. It's easy peasy to do this. Now you can save this as an SVG file for your... Uh, software or and you can save it as a PNG file as well if you if you're using it for overlays on your staged photos you can just insert that right into as a PNG makes it a lot easier to uh, overlay and that's it that's the big tip of the day not much but you know what there's a lot of people that don't know how to do this um, and they spend money on uh, graphics um, and designs with the words already in it you don't have to you can just get a graphics pack already done uh, i get them all the time at font bundle sites uh, they do sell the graphic packs i got this one with tons of moose and deer and whatnot in it it was like five dollars and it came with like a hundred or something different silhouettes of um, wilderness animals um, and then you can just do your own designs on it and then you have your own svg files for that OK, um, if you're looking for any other tips, um, you want me to do any other tips, let me know and I will do a video on it. That's it for today. Have a great day.
uh, actually have a kick-ass day. Happy crafting. Bye.